Hello everybody and welcome back to A Clash of Kings! All that is left of the Iron Islands, well the native Iron Islands, is Iron Holt, which will hopefully fall now, <laughs> finally. And uh, then we have to go up to Barrowton and Torren Square and that will be it for them. And then we will own all of the north and, uh, and then we may be strong enough at that point to start competing with the Vale, though I'm really not sure about that because the Vale is damn strong. And uh, the Reach has gotten really strong as well. Uh, I forgot that we even had properties over here, honestly. And these ones don't look like they've gotten too overpowered. But the uh, the Reach and the Veil. Vale. The Reach and the Veil vale are going to be damn hard. But let's get started with this. I'm going to skip the Assault of this. Because the run-up of these takes ages. So we are just going to skip over all of this bit. Okay, so apparently someone killed Liss. Uh, nice little update while well, we're building the siege towers, I guess. Okay, we're just about up to the wall. We've taken pretty, pretty stinking heavy casualties on the way. It's, uh, kind of depressing. Okay, I want you guys to follow me. Archers to follow me. Uh, everyone stand here, push that up to the wall. And I am going to go climb the ladder. The ladder, I guess. Not ladder. Um, they're probably all gonna charge as soon as it drops, right? Yeah. Okay, follow me, and then I want to be commanding archers so that I can station them in the correct place. Ah, stop it! Stinking sh spears! Shitty spears! Okay, we got this. I gotta get rid of all these archers. Because the archers are what's gonna really tear our troops up. Uh, I mean, we can handle them close up. It's just the freaking ranged destroys us. It's like we're uh, it's like we're infantry or something. Come on, men, onward! Come on! Ow, I'm just taking hits. I'm stupid. Oh, I take zero damage for some reason. Weird. I mean, I guess I have it before. And I just kind of dismiss it, but... Huh. I guess just because my armor is so good. And then maybe they... They may hit me in the head, and then that's my crown that has ridiculous armor. Okay. That's everyone up here. No? Oh, there's some over here. I didn't even see them. Okay, that's all up here. Now my stupid men are going to be trying to, like, uh get around. <laughs> I like how I can just jump down the whole center. So a problem has arisen in amongst our ranks. Uh, we are out of food. Like completely out. So I don't really know what we're gonna do because I really wanted to continue on to Barrowton after this. But it looks like we're going to have to uh, it looks like we're gonna have to run around and stock up on food. And I don't know if we should bring our allies with us or let them go back home. And then just uh, summon them once more when we've got food. But, yeah. Plus, we need to uh, run around and not just be only fighting all the damn time. Anyway, because that's... All we ever do anymore is fight, so... We've gotta have some variety, you know? Although, fighting is still satisfying as heck. Look at this. It's beautiful. Bloodbath is amazing. It's like my favorite part. Uh, I, should, I love all my other mods that I play. All my mods. All the other mods that I play. But A Clash of Kings is the one that really gets me going for uh, Banner Lord the most. I don't know why. I really don't. I guess just because I have such a large army in it that I just really get going for the, uh, the big fights. It's just amazing. I don't know. These guys are gonna be a pain in the ass. Uh. Oh man. It's gonna take ages. He's gonna hold his shield up. All of them will. Look at this. Stupid. Oh, come on. Come on. Break your damn shield. 
piece of crap. You pizza crap. Okay. Onward, men! Up there! I need arrows. Arrow! Oh, I missed! I need another arrow. Here we go. Damn it! I need another arrow! Get in! Okay, archers, just chill, guys. Oh, that was gonna be so cool if you could actually get it... Weave it through that little hole. Can you do that? Let's see. Can you get it? Oh, I guess I can't see now. Yeah, that was beautiful. That was a beautiful headshot. It was only 4.4 .4 difficulty. What? Okay, my men should be getting up there soon. How many are left? There are two left. Come on. Come on. There's one. And wait, what is stuck in my chest? Oh my gosh. How am I alive? Look at this. I have a ton of arrows stuck in my shield, like, through my arm, like, attaching it to my arm with arrows. And then I have a spear in my heart. Holy crap. I'm immortal. So I think we're actually going to send... Okay, I thought that was ally casualties. I was like, <gasps> We only lost four. It's not too bad. Although we do need to go talk to the people in our capital and get them to look for some more men. Because we are running low, in general. So, yeah. And we need to claim rights to all of the places we've recently captured. It would definitely be a good thing to, to do. Defer appointment. Share equally. Did I not pick up the people? Oh, I guess we didn't capture anyone. Wow. We didn't capture anyone. That's surprising. How many of their... <laughs> we have seven of their lords. How many do they have? The Iron Islands. Uh, they have a lot. Damn. So that means it's going to be really hard when we go up north. But for now... Um, I will end this campaign and send everyone home. We no longer need our forces here. Okay, so they need to rest up and get fixed. And then we are going to go do some maintenance. Uh, barrels of ale would count as non-perishables, right? So those will work good. I still never gave my allies the reinforced campuses that I've been holding on to for ages. But whatever. Yeah, whatever. Okay, let's go to Fair Market. We have taken all of the native iron islands, I might point out now. And then bread, grain, cheese. Okay, well, it's a bit. It's a little bit. Uh, Bravos took a prisoner, apparently. Let's go down to Maiden Pool before we go to uh, Salt Pans. What is our income this? 2,000? Ha ha ha. Funny. We need to fix our tax inefficiency because... Someone told me how to do that, and it's managing our, uh, essentially, like, Sisterton's been besieged. Okay, we gotta, we're gonna have to do something about that. Um. We probably don't have enough men to stop them at the moment. Which means that I need to find an ally as fast as possible. We have eight minutes, so we should be able to do so. So yeah, I need to find an ally, like, super fast. Uh, but while I'm here, we need to manage our affairs. Andrew Locke, Robert Glover, Mark Piper. <gasps> More vassals! Yes! Robert Glover. 64, my friend! I would be honored to accept your pledge. Um, should I give him Orkmont Castle? Yeah, we'll give him Orkmont. 
That's one of the yeah, that's one of the Iron Island ones. Yeah. Oh. I was I was never mind. Okay, so it's a good thing I took him on because Oh the old man Andrew Locke. Yeah, I'll take you. Hell yeah. Mark Piper. I think I remember you. We're not gonna give him any any places for a week or so to make sure that they're actually gonna make sure that they're actually gonna do what we want them to. I'm just gonna go ahead and make my lord, myself lord of all of these places to uh, to be able to give them away rather than um, rather than have to worry about someone like the the people and them deteriorating. Okay, now I need to talk to my snestle, and we need to manage the affairs of the realm. That's fee improvements. That's tax. Uh, none of that's what I need. Is it Martin Snow? Do you have any ideas about strengthening unity? Okay, good. Nothing. Great. Um, I don't see what we need here. Is it the Castellan? Oh, it's the Chancellor. I'm an idiot. Okay, Chancellor. Uh, let's talk about domestic policy. Um, I require information about the domestic policy of another... Uh, let's change our domestic policy. Our government is neither too centralized nor decentralized. The upper-class society is neither too aristocratic nor uh, plutocratic. Our people are a mixture of serfs and freedmen. Our troops are of mediocre quality. Our approach to trade is a little mercantilist. What would you like to change? Um, I want more freedom for the people. Uh, I will initiate all some necessary steps. Let's talk about domestic policy. Let's change our policy. Actually, let's, uh... Wait, does he say... Let's change our policy. Um, our people are usually free. Okay, so you can change each part of your policy once per month, apparently. Um... Oh, no, you can't. Let's talk about domestic policy. Let's change our policy. We have to wait 30 days. Damn it. Okay, well, we we changed our people to being more free. Uh, so I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. Oh, we have another dude. Lord Adrian Seltigar. Yeah, sure. We're about to be in another war, so we might as well accept all we can. Tiger guards. Sweet. Oh, yeah, we came here to hire more people. Duh. Um, should we try hiring, should we try hiring a different sellsword company? We tried the company of the cat previously and it sucked. I mean, we could try a different one now, but I don't trust it. Uh, let's talk to, it's the Castellan. I would like you to bring me some troops in. Let's talk about recruits. I need, where should I train them? Never mind, I guess. Um, oh, recruit some new soldiers. Okay. What do I need? I need more archers again. I've run out of archers. I need more Murish uh, crossbowmen. And let's get some more... We need some more strong uh, shieldmen. Let's go... Let's go with... Northerners suck in general. The Riverlanders are good longbowmen. Should we fight Veilmen with Veilmen? That would be kind of interesting. Then again, it would be very confusing. Let's continue with... Let's continue onward. I don't know. We'll go with uh, Stormlanders. Sure. They may suck, but we're going to do it. Yes. Onward! Okay, so they should all be accompanying me. Because I desperately need them to. So there go my recruiters. Honorable men. The Reach. 151. That's a fairly strong party he has there. 
I can hold almost 600 troops. Whew. Oh my gosh. The lock and weld lot. The cattle epidemic. Pintos has declared war on Bravos. Norvos has declared war on Pint. Oh man. Okay. Oh man. Holy crap. Okay, well, okay. I'm just going to be concerned if our name comes up. High Noon declared war on Tyrosh. Norvos declared war against High Noon. And, oh man, what is going on? What is all this? Holy crap! Who are we at war with now? Damn it, did the dragon people come in now? I think they did. <sighs> now I have to save them. Okay, who are we at war with now? The Iron Islands, Pentos, Tyrosh, and Norvos. Damn. Pentos, Tyrosh, and Norvos. Thankfully not Bravos, or uh, we may be in trouble because that's where all of our money is. Solaris, uh, Voltanus is kind of being crushed. We could probably go wipe Voltanus out soon. Tyrosh is of no threat. However, Pentos and Norvos are pretty high threat, especially because they're down here by Aquastain, and we have like no one patrolling Aquastain. So if someone sieges that, it's screwed. Oh man. And it's night. I need to make it not night because no one can see anything at night. Yeah, come on Jasper Rivers. Come on. Freaking raiders. Get out of here. Oh man. Uh, Roger Risewell. Switch from the north to the Vale. Oh boy. Okay, there's Garrett Longley. Okay, we have some people with us. Good. There's some more of my men. Waterman. Uh, that would be Asha Greyjoy, an enemy. So I guess we're going to have to stop and attack her. Most likely, at least. There's my timer as well. Uh, and another enemy. And another... Oh, another enemy. Uh, so we have to fight past some enemies to get to Sisterton to save it in time. But that will be next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like because it really does help out. Until next time, have a nice day and I'll see you later.